Hi everyone, today I'll be reviewing and swatching Sugar Pills liquid lipsticks. I have four of them and I think that is all the ones that they have out at the moment. Three of them can be purchased separately. This one in Strange Love is part of the Feline Fancy Valentine's Day collection which I bought with a eyeshadow palette. Um, so this one you can't get as a single. Um, but these are relatively new. I think they're the first one that was, I believe, Trinket. This one I think has only been out for a year or so. So liquid lipsticks are sort of new to their range. However, Sugar Pill has been around for a while and I feel like for an indie brand, it's fairly established. It's been around since about 2010 um, and created by a woman by the name of Amy or Shrinkle as she's known. Um, from what I've read, she was really into the club scene and you know into really bright colors but felt there wasn't anything out there that catered towards that. So that's why she sort of started her own makeup line. And I have been wanting to try Sugar Pill out for a very long time, which is why I decided to pick up some liquid lipsticks because I am a huge fan of liquid lipsticks, as you might already know. So I think one of the reasons why people tend to buy Sugar Pill is because they have a selection of really interesting and bright colors. And the same can be said for their liquid lipsticks. And they're not really the most, um, you know, they, they are different. They You don't really come across these Kind of shades on an everyday basis. Um, for example, Pumpkin Spice is a really beautiful coppery orange brown with golden um, flecks in it. Then you've got Trinket, which looks pretty, you know, I guess, dupable uh, because it is a dusty rose mauve, but when you wear it, it does have that beautiful golden shimmer to it. Um, you know, you've got a beautiful mauve lavender, and then Strange Love, which I think I do have a dupe for. I believe the Dose of Colors corset is probably the closest that I have. However, these are all very interesting colors. Now, one thing that I was struck by when I first tried these on was the scent. If you're the kind of person that is very sensitive to scents, um, artificial scents, then this really might not be for you because that is something that really blew me off my chair because the scent is so strong. Particularly Trinket and Strange Love, Strange Love, which have the same creamsicle scent, which is very, very overwhelming for someone who has a very heightened sense of smell. Um, it might not bother some, but for me, I personally would prefer it if it didn't have this scent. Just makes me think what it smelled like before they added the fragrance, um, you know. Pumpkin Spice is a little bit more tolerable. This one smells like cinnamon. Um, and probably the least offensive would be Kimchi, which has a vanilla kind of donut scent, is what they say on the website. So if this is something that bothers you, just make a note of that because they are really very strong. In terms of ingredients, um, when I look at the ingredient list, it, they don't seem to have any animal products, so I would say that they are vegan. Um, however, not all products by Sugar Pill are vegan, but their liquid lipsticks are. So if that is something that you um, are concerned about, they are actually vegan. And the whole brand is cruelty free. Um, their formula also looks to be unique, so I do think that they have formulated their own specific and unique formula. So next I'm going to be swatching these on my lips and seeing how they apply, whether or not they're kiss proof and how easy they are to remove. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. So the first one I have is Trinket and this was Sugar Pill's first ever liquid lipstick that they released in early 2016. It is described as a mauve pink shade with golden sparkles and it is a very unique combo which I don't have a dupe for my collection. You can't see the golden sparkles in the swatch but it becomes more obvious as it dries down. So one of the first things I noticed when I got this was the applicator. It does have a very strange shape. It's a dofu applicator with a curved tip and you get a lot of product that clumps to the tip. So. It can be a good or bad thing. You can get a lot of product at once, but at the same time, that can be too much. I personally don't mind this. It just takes a bit of getting used to, and it's convenient in the sense that I don't have to dip multiple times to get the opacity that I want. The second thing I noticed was that this one has a very strong scent, and it's probably the strongest out of all of them. So this is what it looks like after initial application. It doesn't look anything unique and out of the ordinary, but the trick is when you smack your lips together, 
the sparkle does come out and it does shine a little bit more so you can really see the golden sparkles coming through Overall, as someone who has a lot of pinks and nudes in their collection, I really appreciate how different this shade is from the norm, but it still is also wearable. So after allowing this to dry for 5 minutes, I did a kiss test and there wasn't any transfer at all. They're also pretty easy to remove with an oil-based makeup wipe. I've learnt over the years that this is the best method if you don't want to be scrubbing your lips a lot. Next we have Kimchi, which is a matte lavender mauve with violet and aqua sparkles. And just in case you're wondering, this was actually named after the drag queen kimchi rather than the Korean dish. And as you can see from the swatch, because of the applicator, it does disperse the product a little bit unevenly. In terms of application, it goes on really nicely. It's opaque and not streaky. The only thing I think is a little bit strange is the color. It's very different and I think this would probably suit people who are probably a bit fairer and on the cool side. But I mean, if you like this sort of color, then by all means, go for it. Personally for me, I wouldn't wear it alone, but I'd probably pair it with a darker shade to create an ombre effect. So I'm smacking my lips together to see if I can bring out those aqua and violet sparkles, but to be honest, I can't really see anything besides purple. So if it is there, it is very, very, very subtle. So subtle that my eyes can't really see it. There was also a little bit of transference when I did the kiss test. Like the previous shade, it's also pretty easy to remove with an oil-based makeup wipe, and it doesn't stain the lips. The next shade that was released was Pumpkin Spice and this is a beautiful coppery brown with golden reflex in it. It's actually one of my favorites of the four however again this one has a very strong cinnamon scent and this may or may not bother you depending on how sensitive you are to strong smells. This one applies pretty much like the other ones it has a very mousse like texture it goes on very opaquely and you find that you don't really need to dip in again to get the opacity that you want. Overall, I have to say I really like this formula. I feel like for a matte, it's not that drying and you can actually move your lips around without it cracking or feeling fairly uncomfortable. To be honest, you don't really need to smack your lips to get the sparkle to come through because it is already very sparkly. Overall, I really like this shade. It's really unique, but if you don't like intense sparkle, then you won't like this because it is quite sparkly and it doesn't quite pass the kiss test, although it is mostly sheer particles. In terms of taking it off, it wasn't really any more difficult than the others using an oil-based makeup wipe. Lastly, we have Strange Love, which is a liquid lipstick that was part of the Feline Fancy makeup collection that was released for Valentine's Day, so unfortunately you can't get it by itself. This shade is described as an oxblood red and actually really reminds me of Corset from Dose of Colors, although this one is definitely more brown based. This one also has a metallic sheen to it as the glitter particles are very finely milled and like Trinket, it has the same creamsicle scent. The quality and application of this one is also similar to the others, so across the board they're very consistent and I think that is a really good thing. Overall, I really like this shade. I think it's fairly easy to wear and it's probably one of the more conservative shades of the four. In terms of the Kiss Test, it did have some transference and I feel like that's due to the moussey wet texture. And like the other ones, it came off with an oil-based remover without too much effort, although I feel like this one did stain my lips a little. So those are the swatches and the review of the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipsticks. I'm so glad that they're only four because generally it takes forever and ever if there are any more than that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.